that's a lowrider S. So that's like the top of the line, kind of. And they don't make them anymore. So the lowrider S came with a 110 cubic inch, came with a bigger motor okay. um, and ABS brake. What's up guys, Matt Laidlaw here from Laidlaw's Harley Davidson. So this is gonna be a grip, rip, and split video. So I'm gonna be taking out the Lowrider S here. I wanna thank Louie, AKA Mondo, for letting me borrow his Lowrider S. This bike's pretty awesome. It's got 117 cubic inch stage four build. He just added the full Olin's suspension on here. So front and rear suspension Olin's. And he's got Lucky Dave bars. He's got Connolly fairing, La Paris seats. Yeah, this is just this thing's just all tricked out so i featured this bike on my youtube channel before but he's done some additional work on this thing so i'm going to take it out and rip it up the freeway a little bit uh, i want to apologize about the audio guys uh, this bike sounds so amazing he's got a thunderheader exhaust on here and my recorder didn't work and so all i have is the audio from the gopros which is terrible so yeah i was pretty pissed about that but hopefully you guys can still enjoy it
So the biggest thing that's changed since last time I rode this bike is the full Olin suspension and it really makes a big difference and not the way that you might think. Uh, a lot of people think of suspension as making the bike more comfortable, which it does do in a lot of situations and, and definitely on this bike. But really what is best about the suspension on this bike is just being able to keep that power on the ground and keeping the chassis very stable so you feel more confident at going those higher speeds. The bike still had the same power now as it did the first time I rode it, but with the Olin suspension, I just felt like I was a lot more in control and I could ride the bike at faster speeds and that it was, you know, I felt like a lot more confidence at higher speeds on the bike when you hit like those freeway joints and you start hitting the reflectors when you're splitting lanes and just the slightest little bump can kind of disrupt the whole chassis and throw you off a little bit and so that's kind of a, a really big advantage that i think a lot of times people overlook especially people newer to the motorcycle world is the suspension on the bike you know really helps you keep really good control of the motorcycle at high speeds and you know really the big difference between the stock suspension and the olin suspension here is i mean the compression is is a big deal but really the rebound just and that is how well the suspension puts that tire back on the road and so you kind of regain that traction and control and you know it, it just really controls the chassis and Harley Davidson's aren't light bikes and so it's always a little bit more of a chore to develop a suspension that can can control this much weight as opposed to maybe like a 400 pound sport bike or something like that so yeah the, the suspension was really cool this is just an awesome all-around bike I mean this thing just mobs so yeah I was just badass riding this thing down the freeway it was a lot of fun So it was kind of funny. I had someone perform a major motorcycle faux pas on me when I was riding. And so I want to show you guys, especially you newer riders, something not to do. And here's what I would relate this to. Let's say you're walking into a public restroom and you're the only one in there. You walk in, there's like 10 urinals on the wall. So you go up and you pick one and then a second guy walks into the bathroom. And there's nine other urinals to choose from, but he pulls up and picks the one right next to you and starts doing his business. It's kind of like, wow, dude, there were eight other urinals to choose from. Why did you choose the one right next to me? It's just kind of the same thing that, that happened here. I'm riding, I'm in the center of the lane. I'm occupying the center of the lane and homeboy just decides to ride up like right next to me and like ride with me almost like we're like in a group together or something like that. I don't know this guy and it's okay. It's funny. I don't know if he was just trying to like feel like he was part of a group or something like that or what, or maybe like trying to get a sense of com motorcycle community. I don't know, but that's not the right way to do it. Um, especially since, you know, I don't know he's coming up right alongside me and I'm, I'm occupying the center of the lane for the most part. And if you're in California, if you're splitting lanes, that's different. You know, I, I would stay to the left and then, you know, you split on the right side of, of the motorcyclists and cars between the number one and the two lane. But yeah, it was just kind of funny. Unless you're like riding in a group of people together, you don't go up and start riding close to other riders like you're part of their group. Like you just don't do it. People are gonna think like, what, what, what are you doing? And so anyways, yeah, it was just kind of funny. But yeah, don't do that. If you're a new rider, don't do that. <laughs> 
Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you enjoyed the bike, uh, give us a thumbs up. Give Mondo a thumbs up for his Lowrider S. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for tons of Harley Davidson content coming your way. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.